Their fourth season under head coach Bobby Kelsey this year. They returned nine letter winners and four starters, if you include 2012-13 starter Cassie Rochelle. So we have head coach Bobby Kelsey here. She'll make an opening statement and then open up to questions. Uh, wow, we're back again. Uh, seemed like yesterday we were uh, wrapping things up from last year, but um, a new year, a new uh, level of excitement for our kids. Obviously, uh, with seniors graduating, and new ones coming in, uh, this is a fresh opportunity for everyone to get uh, into the rotation, more playing time, whatever they want to do according to how hard they've worked over the summer. And our kids have worked extremely hard over the summer, um, and they're ready to, uh, some more than others, to uh, get out there with our veterans. Um, they're very ready, and then our new ones are, are getting there. So we're very excited for them, and uh, I'm looking forward to a, a great year. Questions? Yes. As you start year four, is the urgency get any greater with each year? Um, I mean, you always have the expectation of uh, doing better than you did before, um, but that's not always in my hand <laughs> with injuries and, and different things that uh, transpire throughout the year and trying to build a program. Again, I'll say the same thing I've been saying. Um, you just it takes a little time, and um, sometimes when you're not in the trenches, you don't quite get that. But that's your job to ask me these questions. So, uh, but it, it's all I'm always excited, and the kids are too, uh, and expected to do do well. Jeff, Bobby, how might the the offense look a little bit different this year? You've got Wirtz and Page who are gone, who launched a significant number of three pointers, but they didn't make a lot of three pointers. So. How, is, how are things going to be different with their departure, just offensively, what you're going to try to do? Um, we're trying to get more people touches with the ball um, and cutting more, moving without the ball. I think we kind of were stagnant, and that's probably why they had to take that many threes. Um, and I'm, I'm sure with Taylor's back, and um, that didn't help her. She never recovered fully from that um, because we all know um, from her time here she was a great shooter. But just um, that set her back. And then Morgan – was not as consistent as she probably wanted to be. And a lot of it last year, is that we, because we were on the ropes a lot, they had to force up maybe some shots that they would not have taken. So um, we're looking to uh, get more cuts to the rim, get more layup opportunities. And um, I think you'll be, be present, pleasantly surprised at how we get that this year. But I can't tell all the secrets. So. <laughs> you got Cassie coming back. Uh, how does she look, and if she's able to play significant, how does that affect Michaela and their roles and what's expected of Michaela? Uh, Mick, because I have a lot of Kaylas and Michaelas, <laughs> so you got to kind of tell me who you – no, um, with Cassie coming back, um, she's just – she's so long in there and tall, and um, even with her – um, minor setback with her uh, nagging back injury. She still is able to do a lot of things in and around the basket um, where she's probably most effective. Um, but she's been working on her shot too, just at that high post area, just trying to stretch the defense a little bit and get that defender coming out at her instead of always pounding at the basket because maybe that's – we don't want that to aggravate um, her her uh, body at all. But. Um, her and Mick uh, are a good one-two punch because Mickey can be on the perimeter a little bit. Kind of, I think Mick is better coming in to post up, you know, because she has to play all these big girls that are a little bit heavier in weight than she is. But she uses her quickness, and um, so both of them have really worked on their shots, and that's going to allow them to take one or two dribbles and get a layup because you have to respect the shot. So they're only going to complement each other. And now, how much she plays that depends on, you know. Um, how she feels. We're not going to have her practicing a whole, whole bunch because we're trying to maximize, you know, her her um, her health and, and make sure that she's able to, to compete in the games. Rob. Bobby, the players that were down at Chicago last week hinted that your, your pace overall may be faster. How much of that is a reflection of the personnel and, and how much of that is fourth year and, and these are the players that you recruited to fit that style? Uh, it's a little bit of both, a little bit of all, the, all of that. Um, I think we've wanted to play this way, but again, sometimes situations and circumstances don't allow you. Um, uh, last year, because we had some injuries, you, then you got to save the ones that can play. You can't wear them out. So um, we're we're really being mindful of uh, the minutes. I'm trying to get the minutes down, and um, faster pace doesn't mean you can't 
play um, that way if you have limited bodies, but they have to be in shape. And so if they're in shape and they're um, not injured and, and strong enough to, to continue with the pace that we want to play, we'll continue to do that. Jeff? Bobby, what area needs to be improved more first? The assist number of assists you guys get per game or cutting the turnovers down? Because in the three years you've been here, the team has yet to have more assists than turnovers. I'm just curious, what what's more of a concern for you at this point? Um, well, obviously with turnovers, you're giving the other team the ball. Uh, and assists are always leading to baskets. You can't get a basket without an assist. I mean, somebody's got to pass you the ball. For the most part, you're getting an assist. So I think the turnovers are a little more concerning, um, taking care of the ball, not forcing it up, not doing too much. And again, when because of a lot of our games were a little closer and you're trying to get that shot and trying to um, maybe make the play and not looking for the extra person, you know. Um, there were times when we watching tape and I'm like, she's somebody else's oh, you gotta give the ball up. And um that's I don't I don't know how you really get other than showing them that, you know, it's we know you're not selfish, but that looks selfish because someone else is open. So um we're gonna shore up those things and I know this group is ready and willing to give the ball up uh and make sure that we're getting a good shot as opposed to a shot. Dennis? Uh, Kayla McMorris is the most heralded recruit that you've brought in here. And what sort of transition do you see her making? Or how quickly do you see her making the step up and being able to contribute? Oh, Kayla is, um, she's definitely uh, a player that was highly recruited, uh, top 100 recruit. And for her to come to a program that's not quite there yet, considering she had offers from others that um, have shown the tradition in women's basketball of going to the NCAA tournament and really um, winning at the, the highest level. Uh, it says a lot about Kayla that she's not uh, prima donna, or, and not to say those kids that do that are, but she just was willing and able to believe in what we were doing, and, and she knows that she was going to – I told her, you, we're recruiting you to play, not to come and stand in line or wait your turn, so to speak. And uh, she will play, and she can play. Um, she has a quick first step, um, heady kid, uh, aggressive. Um, she's just kind of figuring out what are good shots for her. But, you know, you'll live with that until she can figure it out because she's taking the ball to the basket and really trying to make something happen. And she's going to compliment Dakota and Nicole well, Tessa, you know, Bam, Anne-Marie. I can say Bam, but uh, all of our guards. Uh, Carl, she's making everybody better. Anything else for Bobby? Right. Thank you very much. We do have uh, several players here if you need anything. Uh